This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost. Wrapping up our Samsung Galaxy Alpha vs The World comparison series, we decided to throw it in the ring with a WW9000. For those of you who don't know, the WW9000 is a washing machine. Now comparing any washing machine we've used prior to a smartphone would have been incredibly silly. There'd be no common ground to speak of. Comparing the WW9000 to a smartphone, however, is just a bit silly. And it actually makes sense in a lot of ways. Take the design. The washing machine takes cues from Samsung's mobile interface, TouchWiz. With a ripple elegantly molded into the side, it screams Galaxy, even sporting the same sound effects when you tap, tap on the display. Yes, a washing machine with sound effects. While the Samsung Galaxy Alpha fits in your pocket in hand comfortably at 4.7 inches, your pocket fits in the Samsung WW9000 and comes out all the better for it. Fresh your pockets may be, but they'll also be significantly lighter after shelling out the £1,700 RRP. Being on the cutting edge was never cheap, and this rings true for white goods too. As for the Alpha, UK pricing has yet to drop. Both gadgets are constructed around sturdy metal frames with plastic elements dotted around. The Galaxy Alpha is a premium surprise from Samsung, significantly richer than the flagship Galaxy S5, while the WW9000 is hands down Samsung's flagship washer in price and in appearance. Design highlights include the contoured metal frame of the Alpha and the blue door of the WW9000, complete with a drum light so you can see that spin cycle a go-go. The capacitive touchscreens are similar sizes too, 5 inches versus 4.7 inches. The washer's LCD panel is low resolution too and lacks a punch of the Alpha's Super AMOLED display. It also demonstrates a smidgen of lag by contrast to the super responsive smartphone. Swipe, tap, swipe, swipe the washer screen, that's how you're going to get around the settings, modes and even the Android-esque pull-down quick toggle bar. This isn't too dissimilar from Android on the Galaxy Alpha. Sure, the washing machine doesn't support apps, but it does support horizontal menus and it updates itself by connecting to the internet, something we'll come on to later. Naturally, the app ecosystem is a real advantage of the Alpha and any smartphone. With an octa-core processor and 2GB of RAM, the Alpha can run any application or game you throw at it with the help of the Google Play Store on board. It can even control the WW9000 remotely using Samsung's Smart Home app. That means you can start the washer, complete with mode selects wherever you are in the world, internet pending. Admittedly, more useful were it a washer-dryer combination and if it loaded up your dirty laundry from your bedroom floor, but baby steps people, we're getting there. This brings us to another point of overlap, connectivity and sensors. Both phone and washer connect to the internet over Wi-Fi, talking to Samsung servers and then in turn talking to one another. They also pack sensors with the alpha measuring proximity, ambient light and movement while the 9000 weighs your dirty laundry to sense how soiled your clothes are. It then figures out how much water and detergent to dispense and it even sets the time based on what it thinks of the state of your smalls or not so smalls. The WW9000 even has the added advantage of basically running itself. Stick the detergent and conditioner into a compartment within and paired with all that sensor action, you won't have to do anything but load up your drum and press play for 20 cycles, after which simply repeat the process and you're good to go for another 20. If you think we're going to drag out even more commonalities between these otherwise unrelated Uber gadgets, you're wrong. We're comparing a smartphone and a washing machine for crying out loud, enough's enough. But that there are these similarities alone should hit the point home. Not only has the smartphone absorbed much of the camera, personal organizer and handheld video games market to name a few, now phones are also shaping industries they're not wreaking havoc on, like the automotive industry, service industry and home appliance industry being case and point. So while the Samsung Galaxy Alpha, Sony Xperia Z3 or indeed the iPhone 6 won't be able to wash your clothes anytime soon and therefore this comparison is fundamentally flawed, 
that all three can tell your washer to wash your clothes wherever you are in the world is a little bit spectacular. As for whether it's spectacularly pointless or spectacularly cool, we'll leave that for you to decide. Hopefully you've enjoyed our comparison of the Samsung WW9000 and the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. If you have, make sure you click that like button. If you like the channel in general, click subscribe. And if you've got any questions, think we're plain bonkers, or want some more information about any of the products we've talked about, fire us a comment in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.